Ohio is a hotbed of Christmas sales. John Nayway would know as co-owner of Akron's Thirsty Dog Brewery, he's watched over the last decade or so as his 12 dogs of Christmas became the brewery's biggest seller. It's amazing. It's a beer that's out there for 10 or 11 weeks. Um, people are waiting for it. The same could be said for Market Garden's spin on the holiday brew known as Festivus. One of our biggest challenges with Festivus is keeping up with production. So e even as we speak, we're bottling, we're working multiple shifts a day just to keep up with demand. There is competition among the local brewers, but there is also camaraderie and the recognition of Great Lakes Christmas Ale. The beer responsible for the wedding of the region's collective Christmas whistle with the ground they broke in 1992. When they came up with this recipe, it definitely started kind of a tidal wave, if you will, of, uh, of great beer in Ohio City. A legacy that will be celebrated at Great Lakes this morning at 11.30 with the iconic first pour of the season's first glass of Christmas Ale. Christmas Ale is definitely kind of considered the OG of the Christmas Ales that you find today. As a result, the region has carved a niche for itself and established a reputation for being the home of the seasonal brew. If you looked at a store shelf seven years ago, there were a handful of us with Christmas Ales in Ohio. And if you go in the next couple weeks and look, you're, you're overwhelmed because you'll see 20 plus Christmas sales. And in Ohio City in particular, beer lovers have found a holiday destination. Folks c come in from even out of state. They'll book hotel rooms for the entire weekend. And this is their plan. The holiday festivities begin in Cleveland. John Kasich, News 5.